one of America's outstanding humorists, Mr. Godfrey Cambridge. Hi. Uh, everybody complains about television, but uh, I'm an exception. Uh, I don't generally complain about it. I only have one minor complaint, and uh, that is one commercial. Uh, the White Knight. <laughs> you know, that nitwit on the horse goes by, turns everything white. Lord, I hope he never passes me. <laughs> I got enough problems, you know. Turn me white, I'll start running around feeling guilty all the time. You know? <laughs> but I feel good. I'm on a show with my favorite actress, Joan Crawford, who's really great, you know. See, that, that's well, like a unanimous decision. But it's true, a really great actress, and I've always dreamed of doing a movie in which Joan Crawford and another fantastic actress would fight desperately for my love. <laughs> it's a fantasy. Of course, I could do a realistic one, you know, maybe I'd jump out from behind a rock. But, uh, <laughs> everything happens to me. You know, a couple of months ago, I was in Los Angeles and I decided to rent a car and I must have called kind of late because the only car they had left for me was a 1965 red Ford with Alabama license plates on it. <laughs> I mean, I can't win with that car. I mean, if I drive through a Negro neighborhood, I feel like I gotta turn on the lights inside the car. <laughs> Say, don't mess around, baby, it's a soul brother. <laughs> And then if I park it two inches too close to a hydrant, go away and leave it, a Negro cop comes by, looks at that plate and says, Alabama, the way they've been treating my people. <laughs> and I get the ticket. And then if I'm driving by, I get stopped by a white cop, he figures I'm a freedom rider, I get the ticket anywhere. <laughs> you know, one of those John Birch cops who fires three warning shots in your leg. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> and gets back in a red, white, and blue police car. <laughs> but everything happens to me. Not too long ago, uh, I went to Las Vegas in August for a convention. Took my wife, fool, and uh, it was weird because as we're coming in, the stewardess announces that the temperature is 114 degrees. Now the first thing that comes to mind is you say, come on, you're putting me on. There is no place in the United States that hot. But then she cops out by saying like the humidity is only nine which means you're in a dry furnace, right? <laughs> so what if I stagger off the plane and I'm in the 11 button mo here with the attache case because I'm changing our image? <laughs> no more traveling in them overalls, folks. Get you an Ivy League suit, you know. No more of that fried chicken in a brown paper sack. Get you an attache case with the fried chicken in it. I ain't giving up everything just to live with y'all. <laughs> Something still sacred, gang. So my wife and I stagger off the plane in that stifling heat, and one of the local yokels runs over to us and he says, 114 degrees, boy, I bet you gutted people sure do love this heat. <laughs> he said, Nick, we've been out of Africa for over 300 years. Man, if it ain't air conditioned back at that hotel near, my woman will be picking it in the morning. I mean, what does he think I am, an Ashanti tribesman or something? He probably figures I'll get in my walk canoe and go down the strip in Las Vegas going, <laughs> With my Karari blowgun. <laughs> so he may come from Africa seeking white girl for queen of tribe, pay $35 a week in fringe benefits. <laughs> Of course, I had a clever way of getting back at him, because what I would do is I would run through the gambling casino and yell out hip things like, Gambling is morally wrong! <laughs> That'll shake him up. <laughs> I tell, you know what I do is I go up by the swimming pool, and I take about an hour and a half, and I put on my suntan lotion. <laughs> Try to drive them crazy, because they never knew whether I needed any or not. <laughs> I'm going to tell the man, give me some suntan oil, and he asks me, who's it for? 114 degrees, I got to burn, fool. <laughs> oh, these are my people. Don't take it personal, friends. <laughs> Things are going very well now. I'm working for a first-class show, The Hollywood Palace. And when I arrived at the airport this time, they sent a limousine for me, a chauffeur-driven limousine with a white chauffeur. <laughs> that
That's progress. Any <laughs> suggestions? And he suggested that I drive, and he sit in the back. <laughs> and then I said, well, why don't we sit up there in the front together? That way, if people see us together, they won't know what to talk about first. <laughs> so finally, we compromised, and I flipped a coin, and I sat in the trunk. <laughs> well, let's face it, friends. One thing is true, and that is, you ain't going back to Europe, and I ain't going back to Africa. We got too much going here. Thank you. Yeah.